Hi, thanks for joining me today as we continue on our journey through the Gospel of Matthew. I hope you've been enjoying these last couple of weeks as we are preparing for Holy Week. It's interesting that our reading today has us recognizing and reading about Palm Sunday. You'll notice in the Gospel of Matthew, there's a lot of focus and emphasis placed on the events of what we refer to as Holy Week. And so we begin our Holy Week reading today, a week before Holy Week actually begins, because there's so much information here for us to spread out over these coming two weeks. So today's reading deals with Palm Sunday. One of the themes I hope you've noticed in the Gospel of Matthew is the number of references that Matthew uses for the Old Testament. He's really trying to hit home for the audience of primarily Jewish readers that Jesus is the fulfillment of all that had been promised. Now, we talk often about how Jesus came in unexpected ways. They weren't, Jesus wasn't exactly who the people were anticipating. They were expecting a royal king, someone who was going to come in with um, political power or um, military power. And Jesus came in a whole lot differently than what they were expecting. Yet, isn't it ironic, these Old Testament references that point exactly to the prophecy of the Messiah, right there, right there talking about Jesus. So we find some of that Old Testament prophecy right here in um, Matthew chapter 21 as we are reading today. We see that the crowd recognized him as Jesus came back into Jerusalem for this final week. The crowd cheered, the crowd shouted Hosanna, the crowd waved palm branches. We know that palm branches are are typically waved in this uh, time period for kings, for royalty, sp uh, specifically for um, military victories, even as they would return back from battle, the crowds would wave palm branches. So it's interesting that so many of the people here recognized Jesus for who he was and did shout Hosanna. They praised him. They honored him. We see right here in the verses that follow, Jesus has some emotion in the temple in these verses that follow. We know that the, the crowd changed their tune through the course of the week as well. But what a beautiful um, passage that we have here where the crowd is cheering for Jesus. The crowd is recognizing Jesus. The crowd is welcoming Jesus. It reminds me that sometimes Jesus shows up in our lives in maybe unexpected ways. And we have to really give some thought as to how we welcome him. What is our response? How do we recognize the work of Jesus in our lives when it happens? Do we take credit ourselves? Do we try and ignore the fact that Jesus has been at work in our lives? Or do we recognize him? Do we praise him? Do we honor him for the work he is doing in each of our lives? Just a little bit of food for thought as we reflect today on the Gospel of Matthew. Have a great day.